Hi everybody, um, back with uh, another project. Um, I know I've got projects in the works that that are in part ones, and uh, but this one's kind of taking priority. This is a special project here for my son. Um, just bought a new house, got a new uh, new tractor, and uh, thought I'd build him a uh, counterweight slash carryall. Um, for, uh, for on the three-point hitch so yeah so if you ask yourself what I'm doing with that old piece of trailer frame and this old cultivator well stay tuned because that's all going to become part of what I'm making so uh, I'm going to try not to do this in multiple parts I'm just going to try to cram it all together so a lot of this is going to be in uh, high speed mode or um, if, if you'd like to think I really work that fast, that's okay too. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, I'm going to get the camera set up here and I'm going to get busy for a little while. But um, I officially started vacation today, part of my uh, uh, November uh, archery vacation. Uh, looking forward to getting out in the woods here starting this afternoon. And um, for any of you that might be interested in that, I've been uh, I actually started a new channel uh, just strictly with outdoor stuff, hunting, fishing, uh, trail cameras, that kind of stuff, and kind of keep this channel to, um, you know, DIYs and things here around the hobby farm. So, but if you want to check that out, um, I don't have a, a link set up for it yet, but it's going to, you, you can easily find it at Max Outdoor Adventures. So I'd appreciate it if you, you know, gave it a look-see if you're interested in that kind of thing. And, uh, and if you, if you, if you are, you know, Please, uh, please subscribe. Help me grow the channel. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to get busy. All right, so got the uh, got the cultivator, all the uh, scarifiers off of that, and uh, that's going to be my three-point frame. I don't use this whole thing anymore, and uh, it's going to be a, a great way for me to, uh, you know, not have to build all this stuff from scratch. So I'm going to get busy and uh, start cutting the tubular frame apart, uh, getting rid of all the unwanted areas, and. Uh, figuring out what dimensions I'm going to end up with so I can weld that together and then weld this onto it and yeah I think you get the idea alright we're going to get busy on it
All right, guys. So, oh, got a little bit of something on the lens there. Huh. I'm not sure what that is. Hope it's not a burn mark from the grinders. But, anyways, um, as you can see, I'm just working on uh, taking all the sharp edges off, and I'm going to switch over to uh, a sanding disc and get the uh, get the surface rust. All knocked off of this. Give it a uh, couple quick coats of primer, and uh, <clears throat> then uh, the plan is going to be to set this up on its side. And <clears throat> I'm going to pour this tube and this tube full of concrete, and uh, I'm going to put a couple bolts or pins through here for the concrete to grab a hold of. So when it shrinks, it don't come sliding out of there. And then once that's done, then it's going to get flipped over. There's going to be a piece of plywood uh, put on the bottom. And uh, I'm going to fill this uh, three and a half inch uh, thick area with concrete as well. And basically those amounts of concrete are going to be the, the counterweight. Um, plus the concrete's going to give you a nice, nice surface. Um, like I say, if you just... You just want to use it for like a carry all or something of that nature. So, um, so that's what I'm working on here today. Just a uh, couple hours here, a couple hours there. Keep uh, keep picking away at this so I can try and get this knocked out. Um, gonna have some decent temperatures this week, so I should be able to get a little bit of painting done on it. And um, with any kind of luck, before the end of the week, I'll uh, I'll get the bags of sacrete and. Uh, We'll get the get the cement work done on it here. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to make my son a pretty nice uh, counterweight slash carry all when it's all said and done. So
all right guys uh, I think that's gonna be about it for today uh, that was by far the hardest part of this whole project was getting these four wheels taken off of this man lift that I'm working on and I'm gonna repurpose these they need cleaned up bad so anyways <clears throat> I needed them off so I could set and trace the uh, bolt patterns got the holes drilled and tapped and uh, wire brushed the uh, the same washers and bolts that held them on the man lift and gonna reuse those and uh, yeah so I think that's that's where I'm gonna end it for today so I'll uh, I'll be back at it soon all right guys I'm back with a quick update um, I didn't bother to uh, film this process but the more I got thinking about it I was just a little bit leery on the amount of weight I was going to have back here versus um, this is pretty thin wall tubing and um, since I'm putting a hitch on it and maybe some grab hooks and stuff so you can pull things with it I just wanted to make sure that I was had lots of strength back to the three-point area so it's just down and dirty again these are pieces of scrap steel that I had laying around <clears throat> and uh, so I just put a you know support in here behind the, the three-point triangle and ran this piece here back and tied it in so uh, it'll help uh, help with any of that that weight situation um, I mean it might it, it might have been strong enough just the way it was but you know, I'd rather rather play it safe so anyways um, other than cleaning the uh, casters all up and giving them a paint job uh, I'm ready for the cement so I've got to pick up some uh, some bags of uh, sackcrete and uh, get the actual uh, uh, what's going to become the real weight of this counterweight uh, get that cement mixed and get it poured and let it get set up and uh, then the whole thing can have a, a final paint job because it's just all primer right now and um, yeah I'm, uh, I'm anxious to finish assembling it and deliver it to my son I think he's going to be pretty pleased with it so Alright, that's it for another quick update on the uh, counterweight slash carry-all. Hey guys, back with another little quick update here. Um, I know this video is starting to get a little bit long um, as I've been doing some editing, so I just uh, felt like I, uh, I'd just stop uh, doing the, uh, the fast-forward of me doing a lot of the actual builds and just uh, walk you through some of these steps. So, anyways... Um, got this all set up here I've got it all blocked um, I've got a piece of masonite in it that's gonna uh, and then <clears throat> I went ahead and drilled and tapped and put these four big bolts in here that are going to be encapsulated in the cement I went ahead and added um, a couple eye bolts here be handy for hooking your tying things down with but the other thing that that'll help with is if I get done with this and I feel that I still need to add weight I can pour concrete in here and the concrete is going to grab a hold of the, uh, the thread sticking down through these tubes and uh, it won't be able to slide out so anyways um, yeah I got the wheels all done um, everything's just in flat black or, pr or primer black and um, the wheels are in the garage along with the bags of sackcrete and uh, so that's where I'm at I'm, I'm ready to pour cement and uh, get the wheels on this thing and um, find out just uh, how heavy it really is so uh, I may turn the camera on when I do the cement work uh, maybe at least a little before and a little after there or something but I'm going to say I'm going to keep this video so it doesn't run you know more than 25 minutes or so so Okay, that's it for this update. I'll uh, I'll turn the camera back on soon. All right, guys. Well, I'm just uh, <clears throat> putting the finishing touches for as far as I I can go at this time on uh, on this homemade uh, counterweight for my son's uh, new Kubota BX series tractor and uh, hopefully it's going to work out pretty good for them um, I think it's going to be enough weight if not we can add more weight but uh, I'll give you a little look-see of uh, what I got going on here so this is kind of the finished product um, 
got the cement poured but it's been really cold here so I had this all in the garage under a blanket with a heater trying to uh, help cure the cement last night as soon as I'm done with this video I'm gonna move it back in and repeat it because it's uh, <clears throat> I just don't want to mess up the curing process here with these cold temperatures but uh, I wanted to get it out I wanted to get the casters put on it I had to uh, had to open these holes up a little bit for the linch pins um, picked up a new top link and this should have been three quarter inch but I don't know something's in a bind so I had to uh, I had to run a, a drill through there and kind of ream that out a little bit put some oil on it and uh, yeah I got oil sliming down off of here but uh, yeah so if we wanted to add more weight and you just didn't want to like stack anything on this this could be stood up on its side this tube and this tube can also be fu filled with concrete um, I built this for them uh, is a, uh, a four in one so uh, for on this uh, receiver hitch right here so he's got a he's got a running hook he's got a grab hook one and seven eighths and two inch trailer balls um, put my initials in the year that I put it on there um, it's going to work fine uh, this direction for the hooks but for this direction I'm going to have to drill another hole um, because it's getting too close here to slide in far enough for the holes to line up so I'm going to pull it out here mark it drill another hole but this this can be pretty handy for him too like I say he doesn't uh, he doesn't really have any uh, implements per se uh, right now for on the three-point hit so he's going to uh, pretty much probably just leave this on the back of his tractor all the time I'm just trying to make it so that it was uh, more user-friendly so the reason for the casters is one they're heavy they added weight to it two uh, when, when he does want to unhook this he can pull it in his garage on the cement floor unhook it and then just push it off in a corner somewhere it'll just roll beautifully so um, yeah anyways <clears throat> so that's I think that's probably gonna be it and um, I may uh, throw a couple little shorts up uh, if I do anything extra to this in the meantime, but as far as I'm concerned, it's it's ready to go on his tractor and add some weight to the back for uh, snow plowing this winter. So, anyways, thanks for following along, and uh, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, always uh, always looking forward to reading some comments too. So don't be afraid to throw those in there, and. Um, I always got lots of projects on the horizon. I've got several right now that are still like in part one of probably part two or part three series. So stick around and we'll keep knocking them out the best I can. Hey, till the next time.